This is Alan's. <laughs> what? Look at her. She's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> What's Grumpy Granny doing? And Alan's playing his wonderful life. Is that. It's come up as a. Are they on a call or is, is that come up as. Like she's watching his video. Is she watching his video? She sees this all the time. <laughs> is she watching his video? I must have died looking at his face. I'm sorry, but it's so funny. <laughs> She's watching his video. <laughs> I think me and Grumpy Granny already got off to the wrong foot, didn't we? Because I thought she was nosy nanas or something, and I. Uh, and also, she did that video where she said I photoshopped the fucking thing. <laughs> All right, just, uh, I'm, I'm trying very hard not to look at it, because when I look at it, I just laugh. I'm just um, going to put the other screenshot into it. <laughs> you guys just enjoy the, uh, the view. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. But yeah, very specific. Like, what I was wondering was, because Alan shouted them out, essentially, on his channel, yeah? And he shouted out their PayPal thing as well. And he did a reverse psychology where he said, don't go and give them any money. And then he said, well, you can give them a quid if you want. Like, but, like, it was, like, weird reverse psychology. It was almost like he was encouraging them and wanted them to visit him. But it's so weird to pick up this channel and to throw this out there on his channel. Like, it was almost... Like, because, you know, he does his... I've not been following him that long, have I? But since I have, I have expected him to come on at the start of his streams now and say, no, fucking super chuff of this and super chuff of that because I've made him. <laughs> so maybe it's like, you know, super chuff did another stream, but I'm going to I'm gonna talk about this troll because they're in the same league, stupid trolls. Maybe it's that. Or like, did she do something that angered him recently that he watches? He does it the day after complaining about my channel. Yeah, like it was like almost as well, right? You know how his family said to do a statement, he said. I felt like it was almost like he said, right, I'm going to put it all in one video and get it all in there. And then I'm not allowed to talk about Super Chuffer tomorrow or the next day because it's all in that old video. And it's that's where it is. So I don't need to keep saying it. Um, and then he was like, right, I need to do some talking and I might as well start laying into somebody else. <laughs> no, it just seems really weird to bring this person up and talk about them. It's, like, it's either a deliberate ploy by Alan or his ego is so fragile at the moment that he doesn't feel like punching at me but feels like punching at someone he feels he can sort of like you know be domineering over it's weird i want to hear what she's got to say about Han hannon chafer although i don't watch hannon chafer's work so i don't really know if i should listen to it good evening yes i don't do lives i don't what i really don't want to do me is get dragged into all this bullshit do you know what i mean like super chuff is going to carry on without all this bullshit like my battery exhausted channel we'll cover you know we do nutter watch Alan's the main nutter at the moment but I don't want to get involved in like a back and forth with any of the truth of community certainly already Martin Dean, Val um, you know their name and mine and Alan's mind has been connected and thrown around uh, some people have had a negative opinion over some of my jokes even from the truth of community they've been arguing with themselves about it I expect if they went for fucking dinner and they said right today it's beans on toast they'd have a fucking row over that as well but I don't want to be part of their rows in any way, so I'm happy to do my work and just move through it and on beyond it. I'm not going to be making comment on all their rows. So this feels a bit, because this video is called Not This Time at Helen Chafer, so it feels like one of them and another one of them are having a row. So it feels like it's not really for me, but I'm going to, I'm going to have a listen anyway. Well, I work. And when I don't work, I usually take care of my pets, and it, but you don't want to get into that. So already, because you know what I mean, like, what what are we, hang on, wait. Good evening. Hello. Yes, I don't do lives. Okay. Well, I work. Is that in response to not doing lives? Is that why you don't do lives? Or it seems like, okay, yeah. And when I don't work, I... Like, do you know what I mean? I'm a new viewer. I don't know who this is. And I'm tuning in and it feels like she's having a pop at me because she doesn't do lives. And I'm all right. I don't, don't have, you don't have to do lives. I'm all right. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how I offended you. 
Nej. I usually take care of my pets and but you don't want to get into that. I, for me, YouTube is not a um a message board like for things I want to say to people. Like if I had real, you know, if I needed to get it out on video even, I, I might be able to re video it and then send it to them, but do you know what I mean? This is like a FaceTime call that I've dropped into. It's like a one-way FaceTime call. So, yeah, we'll carry I mean, people do this on YouTube, don't they? They like, you know, talk to a certain person, uh, I guess. Holic, apparently. I suppose, you know, Val talks to Alan, doesn't she? Only on days that end in a Y. But listen up, Martin Dan. Martin Dan. Not D. Ham, Alan. But anyway, we won't go into how... Armchair detective cannot say Martin Dion. It's got an N, not an M. Uh, oh, here's a funny one, right? You know in chat from this, you know this in chat, is that uh, when... I'm going to have to put the background music on. It's a bit quiet. It's a bit loud even, the background music, isn't it? Come on, give me the quiet one. Um, you, you and I, you know, we all know. Do you remember when that thing came up in his chat and we clipped it and it was the black bed and the black shit and like we clipped it and then we were saying like, let's have not have Martin, like Martin might want to release it and like we were like, oh, we've clipped that. Like, I knew that I'd done that. I knew I saw it. Um, Genetic Co dropped a video recently that said like, oh, Martin dropped this weeks ago and Super Chuffy didn't say anything about it for weeks later because I was working on my video. Like, you know, I was working on the video. Oh, well, I don't care to try and discredit genetic codes. I can prove when I found out about that video and when I clipped it, because I fucking clipped it when it happened. The black sheets, the black, but I clipped it. So I've got my video where I've clipped it on my computer. I've got my own clip of it. So it's got metadata created on. So I can prove to genetic code that I knew the exact moment that it happened. Martin didn't have to inform me. I knew the exact moment it happened. But... Do I need to make a video saying, right, genetic code, here's the metadata on the video, here's where it proves it, or do I just let genetic code make whatever the fuck video she wants saying whatever the fuck she wants because I just don't care what the fuck she says? <laughs> do you know what I mean? I, I mean, I'm saying it now, but I'm not making a video about it. This is my like, context, really. So genetic code... Uh, Martin Dean posted black bed three weeks prior to battery exhausted super chuffer. Look, this is the title of the video is Martin Dean posted black bed bullshit three weeks prior to battery exhausted super chuffer nonscape. So yeah, he did. <laughs> and I'm not going to talk about like, you know, other people and what Martin's doing. He clipped it, obviously, and he he posted it on his community post. Like I clipped it and I'd waited weeks to put it in my video. But I know, Mel will be back from her scan soon, yeah, we'll hang out for a bit. Um, I know that what I did, and I don't care what her video says. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to make a response to this. Because, like, again, it's like going down the McDonald's drive through And as you go through and you collect your thing at the window, uh, oh, there's someone in the road there. Hang on, excuse me, can you get out of the road? And like, okay, yeah. And they've like, got a crack pipe and a fucking, how the hair's gone. And they're like, right, yagging about. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, sorry, I'm just going to, can you get the, get the, McDonald's in. I'm doing up the window. I'm doing up the window. And then you just drive. I just drive around you. I just drive around you. Thanks. Bye. And then I go home and eat McDonald's and I don't think about them anymore. <laughs> Obviously, I do want to help poor people who are struggling, you know, but do you know what I'm saying? Like some drunk outside the pub shouting obscenities and pissing in the street. I don't have to worry about their opinion, do I? So I know what I did. I, You know what I did. I, I can prove it because I've got the metadata on the clip that I made. But it's irrelevant. And to make a YouTube video about it on your channel, like, it's fucking weird, if you know what I mean. Like, to be fighting your own personal vendetta battles as a YouTube thing. I mean, me and Alan's a little bit like that, isn't it? I say it's personal, it's a passion project. He called me, like, you know, he called me his son and did this and that. But really, it was like content, really, isn't it? I'm doing the lol cow content. I was doing Phil, I did Martin Leaker. There's Alan, thought we'll try it on Alan. <laughs> And then it worked really well. Um, but having your own, like, personal vent... Like, I hope I don't make our content a personal vendetta thing between me and Alan, you know. I suppose there isn't... Now I'm thinking about it, reflecting on it quite a lot. He's talking about me, and I pause him and go, no, that's bollocks, no, this and that. But I don't let it get too personal again. Like, you know, I don't take it too personally is what I'm trying to say. 
I'm like calling out his bo bollocks rather than feeling I need to answer to his personal attack, if that makes sense. Whereas all these people like, and this, this kind of proves that point. I'm not making a video about genetic code. I don't care. <laughs> but this lady, where's she gone? This lady has made a video for Helen Schaefer and it literally is talking to her like, you know, fuck you, this and that. So like, I find it a really strange choice for your media presence in the world. I mean, it is social media, YouTube is. It is social media. It can be used in this way. But the angle that I come from, trying to create content that has some value to people that they might want to watch, <laughs> I find this to be very strange. And, and f Jesus don't swear either. This greasy little dolphin dick has w w windled his way out of his, I'm trying not to swear, out of his little basement, and I believe has hoodwinked whom I thought was a nice lady called Helen Schaefer. Listen, that's not your life. <laughs> Like, I don't see how you're so angry about it. <laughs> Whatever they do. <laughs> with what's been going on with both of them now paired... She's all right to come in our chat, Sarah, I suppose. Like, she's all right to come in our chat, as long as you don't kick up any fucking weirdness. Like, she's all right to come in the chat. Like, she's watching this now, like, she might have a, a thought on what I'm saying, but overall, like, you know, the thing is, right, what I would do is if I felt this strongly about what Helen Schaefer was doing, I might write her an email or send her a, you know, a tweet or... Tweeting's probably a bit more, you know, people do back and forth on Twitter a bit, don't they? At you, fucking this and that. But, like, creating a public argument over it, like this in a video on YouTube, I probably wouldn't go that far. And then probably, if I was writing Helen an email and I got halfway through it and I was, like, really cross, I probably wouldn't even send it. It'd probably just stay in my drafts for a bit. And then one day I'd look at it and think, do I really need to send that? And I'd look at it and think, nah, I don't really, do I? I'm glad I got it out by writing the email. I'm glad I got my feelings out in a way and processed them. But, like, overall, now I'm, I'm not going to send that. And uh, then I just let it go. And like, you know, I don't know why, what Helen Schaefer, because this lady's in Australia and Helen Schaefer's in England and she likes Martin and Martin likes Helen and they're going out with each other. Like, what the fuck has that got to do with you? What does it matter? About fucking fish lipping themselves with no fucking teeth and her and this and that. Wait a minute, I'm getting nasty. All right, come on. I'm fired up. Yeah, all right, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Carry on. Dean. You did this to Norman cleverly, apparently, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Called him a nonce and a pedo and all that, didn't you? Oh, is, he, is she on about nonce gate? Ooh. I came along too late, mate, Dehan. Now you're doing it to Alan Vinicum. And it's upsetting a few people that were around. You know, she's bang on with this. A lot of those truthers... They thought I overstepped the mark. Like, there's things I can and can't say here. But let's just be clear, right? I don't give a fuck about what any of the fucking truthers say. Or any of the, the people who, like, you know, the 1K Andes, the fucking five-year vendetta, Rusix. I don't care a fuck. Alan took my content and put it on his channel. Didn't just... He took one of my videos that I edited to put on Sentries and put it on his channel, right? Then he apologised to me. It was a non-apology. He still didn't give the money to charity. And he started using the content that I'd been working on with the Nicola Bully stuff and saying it on his channel, like, verbatim. Eddie had the problem with him. And in my world, on YouTube, I act how I want. And what I, achieved, what I attempted to achieve with Alan... <laughs> like, oh, you can't say... Is it? Well, do you know what? Do you think, what do you think you've been doing for five years has made any fuck of a difference to him? And I've, I, I might, my friend described it as it wasn't the coup de gras, but you know you've struck him a, uh, struck him a determined blow. I can't remember the exact phrase they used, but you know you struck him like if this is like you know Game of Thrones sword combat. Like I've struck, I pulled his pants down. Yeah, I gave him a smack. You know, I struck him a blow. It's not the coup de gras. It's not the killing blow. It's not the uh, what, killing blow. Could have got you know the final, the final cut, but um, 
my friend was also talking about how with Alan it could be death by a thousand cuts because there's lots of channels doing things about him and now I'm part of that you know doing more damage and he has to fight on all these different fronts ultimately ultimately right Alan could either go to prison and then he'd stop making content or like he and I don't think I can achieve that on my own from here <laughs> not like I'm not going to try and make up some bollocks and have him sent to prison like, it has to be for reals um, but yeah I had a, a big impact and I had an impact on the people that view him the people that a number of people have come to our channel and said I used to watch Alan now I don't I've seen the light so to speak um, and in the future like he says this is YouTube when people search for him and Google him stuff will come up and like, it's going to impact him in the future he wanted to start a fight with me and now he's losing that fight in the YouTube arena like, I'm not even weirdly afraid. No, it's not like, oh no, you should be going to the police with this and just keeping it off YouTube. Like, look at them having their rows, right? I've used him for content. I've turned turned him into a lol. He was already a lol cow. I stumbled into this world and I've made content about it and it's turned into a massive problem. Like, talking about I have a problem, yeah? Who's got a problem? Alan's got a problem and it's fucking me now. So I don't give a fuck what any of them say and what any of them think. And they think I've gone too far by like calling him like if calling someone a name <laughs> and I didn't let's be let's be fair I've never called I'm the I'm the one that's never called him a pedo I've done the, the songs but I've never called him a pedo I've shown I found that he was on Smule and I showed it to everyone right that's I didn't do that he did that he was on Smule it was public what they all think and what they all don't, don't think about who said what about this now fucking hell the main thing for me is, are people going to watch Alan Vinicum in the future? Less, few, fewer now. Not as many. If he could live before Super Chuffer, after Super Chuffer, like, you know, before this, after Nonscape, you know, if he could have said, go back before and the Nicola Bully stuff, would you rather you didn't use Scott's video in the first place and put it on your channel? Would you rather go back and not do that? And none of this would have happened. Alan would definitely say, yeah, because I had to take that video down anyway and didn't benefit me, really. I got, like, whatever, 30 quid from the 19,000 views or whatever. But, like, really, Alan would probably say, yeah, I'd rather not have this happen and I'd rather not put that video up. And, like, there you go. <laughs> but the fact that they all have their, like, judgments and aspersions and all that, like, I because he called him a paedophile it's not right it's not acceptable well, I don't care what you say <laughs> are people going to watch Alan or not I don't care what like you know is this going to make a difference to whether people watch Alan or not that's what I care about and oh it might not be true well I didn't say it so you just jumped to that assumption I didn't say it like oh but you inferred it no I didn't <laughs> I made an important video about how Smule is used by paedophiles and how bad this looks for Alan I didn't you infer you took that from that I didn't like twist your arm you know um, Alan wants to watch Dega Heggy YouTube or uh, the Deke, I've been Andy I was um, Deke, I know all about Dega Heggy and the YouTube times and the wars and um, Sean Atwood and Darren G and James English and all of them I, I was watching all of that unfold yeah um, but like what's bizarre to me like I say um, is that they don't understand what the fuck they're doing like, if you want like you're dealing with a man who's making YouTube content and his prime source of income, power, s status is his YouTube content. So what I've done is Alan talks about me all the time in his YouTube content, referencing videos that he doesn't want people to watch. <laughs> That's why we're here watching this woman. Yeah, Alan already fucks himself over so much. Easy. It's easy to pull the strings off. And I've dramatically decreased his market value in YouTube terms people who would have watched Alan now watch me I get more views on my angry Alan content than Alan gets on his standard content I've stung his ego I've stung his pocket and I've stung his view count and sub count so like is he a paedophile I didn't say he was I don't know like, he might not be. You, you, I can argue, oh, you can't say this and you can't say, oh, whatever. Like, you know, I'm not, I didn't say that. But, like, I'm surprised with them, really. They're so eggy about it all. A bit longer, or a bit earlier than me, with your, whatever you do. But listen, I'm here now. I'm here, Dolphin Dick. 
When I come to the UK, do you want me to whack a few false teeth right in your fucking uh, head head there and you might be able to... That's fucking aggressive, malicious. That's by, you know, malicious communications because um, she's added Helen Schaefer in it as well. Um, the, uh, the other aspect of this is you might say, well, Scott thinks he can just call anyone a paedophile for views then and just to destroy them on the internet. It's not that. It's that we dug around with Alan and we found things that made him look bad and then we presented them on YouTube. Like, that's what that was. <laughs> like, I didn't sing with kids on Smule, so you're not going to get videos like that from me. But Alan did it, so I have got those videos and I put them on YouTube. So he dug his own hole. Like, this went this way because of what Alan did. Like, if, he'd, if I'd dug around and found a video of him smashing a car window, like, if I'd found a video of him going up the street smashing car windows, then Alan would be known as the car smasher. But you're saying he's a paedophile or he's not a paedophile because he's been singing with kids on Smule and they get their fucking heads twisted. Oh, Scott put a video up and said this and like, no, 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 he was singing with kids on Smule. Talk better. Or, I tell you, you're pushing it. Look at you going over to Battery Boy or whoever he is. I haven't watched it. It's bloody disgusting. You haven't watched it, but it's bloody disgusting. So now she's actually having a pop at me, but she's added Helen Schaefer. Um, you haven't watched it, but it's bloody disgusting is an oxymoron, isn't it? Because how can you know what it is if you haven't watched it? Like, how can you be judging me? Like, my first question, right, when people, lots of people say this. Now, this is why I want to get them on streams to debate and stuff and talk about it. Not argue and eggy, but listen, have you watched it? No. How do you have an objective opinion over my work? Because you're doing this with the chocolate milk. Yeah, okay. Have you watched it though? Like, you know, that's an eight hour stream and this is like a 15 second clip. Have you watched it? No or yes. If yes, you can have an objective opinion on my work and we can talk about it. If no, and she just said, no, I haven't watched it. <laughs> then I just have to discount your opinion because you can't, like, what do I learn from what you think? Because you haven't watched it. Oh, who's your daddy now? You, mate, Martin Dehan, have shamed the Ruzex, Team Ruzex. Oh, you've been. Is this a character that she's playing? Is this the character, maybe? Maybe I'm taking this seriously and this is the character? I don't know. Um. Because like she, like she might be playing the role of one of these, um, you know, she might be playing genetic, like she might be impersonating genetic code or someone. Do you know what I mean? Maybe I'm taking this too seriously. You'd have to tell me what you think in chat. Is this a character or is this her actual opinion? Because she's like, at, and I'm confused. Settle down, Oliver. Val, Lego head, don't look at me video, mate. It's too narcissistic to look at. But I tell you what, I tell you what, I thought back a few years ago I was a truther. Well, I don't think it is a, a character, but um, the implication that Martin has in some way solid Team Rusek is ridiculous because Team Rusek is, and like, let me just get this clear, in this whole YouTube thing, this saga with Alan and the defamation and the court case and all this, Team Rusek is... Frankie Rusick. And that's it. He's got the court case documents. He's doing the court case. You can give money on the crowdfund. You can make a video. You're not in a fucking team with him. You can talk to him on a Zoom call. It's not Team Rusick. Team Rusick is Frankie Rusick. Like he's the one going to court. None of the other people, nobody's videos, none of all this is going in the, you know, they're not going to turn up at court and be, some of them could if they want actually, turn up in the public gallery and support, but they're not the ones standing in the dock and saying, Your Honour, I think this. You know, here's my, uh, Team Rusick is just like t Frankie Rusick. Like, what are you on about? So Martin can make a video where Martin goes on the fucking roof and covers himself in shit and goes, eh, I'm covered in shit, I'm covered in shit. And Team Rusick, Frankie Rusick, is not going to be hurt by this in any way because Frankie Rusick's truth Alan's defamation is either truth or not, and that's that. And like they're going to go to court and decide it. So Martin can go on the fucking roof and rub himself in shit and go, eh, she's probably going to hate this. He can go, eh, 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 in shit. And then, so what? So what? It just, the way they like have this outrage about this, like it matters. 
I was sticking up for the Ruzex. I gave my hard-earned bloody money, right? And I don't want it back. Don't worry about that. I can still make it because I'm a fucking worker. But I gave my hard-earned money when I was on a sickness benefit into the GoFundMe, the 10000 Listen, if you're on a sickness benefit and you're struggling for money, you shouldn't be putting money into a GoFundMe. Don't care if it's about Frankie Rusick's defamation or let's get to the moon on rocket made of cheese. Just don't put your money into these things if you haven't got the money to spare like that. Or if you have, give a small, like, the, the way I'm always so grateful on streams about, like, you know, a three pound super chat is because to some people, that's quite a slice out of their, like, hard work money. Like, I'm grateful for it. You know, like, that's enough. Like, I mean, obviously, I'm really grateful that, uh, um, that Mel and Snips and Stargazing and, you know, there's a the Joe Boy, there's like a leaderboard on the, the coffee.com page that has, like, top tippers. Um, no, I'm extremely grateful for the larger sums of money, of course, but you can't get angry, right? You, and she, she brought it up and mentioned it. She is angry. If you give some money to something, like, that's it gone. That's their money now. It's probably not worth getting angry about, I suppose. If, if you're going to be angry about something, probably just don't give money to things like that in the future. Let Frankie Rusek, like, you know, get the money to his solicitors as he needs to. On a sickness benefit into the GoFundMe, the 10000 towards Frankie Ruzek Jr. Right? I've got the receipts. Okay. Look, let's not talk about the money. What's going on here, Dion? Or, or, or is she trying to prove that she's actually a solid Frankie Ruzek supporter because she's paid money? Is that what she's saying? Is that what's happening? Big up, Sandy. Yeah, you're number seven on the tippy list. Well done. Congratulations. Um, I'm just really surprised that this video exists in this way. That, like, I thought her channel was about comedy and having a rip and a piss. Like That, for me, is fine, all the comedy and the rip and the piss. Um, but getting really eggy about it like this is is probably not, like, especially atting someone. Like, I don't care about whose side of the argument I'm on. Like, I don't feel On this, I don't feel like I'm on either side of the argument. I just feel like I'm on neither side of the argument. I just don't understand what the argument is, really. Am or wherever you spell your noggy name is oh jeez I'm fired up you will here's a top tip here's a top tip I made a video once because we should probably watch me being eggy actually we should probably watch oh, I don't really want to bring it up again but now it's a really quiet night isn't it so I might um, top tip don't if you feel like that eggy don't make the video because you're going to do this and like this doesn't come across well as a media presentation unless you really want that effect like, unless that's something you're really going for um big ups curious cat you're number five nice um unless this is something like you know you plan in advance and say i really need to you know get my anger up for this i need to raise my energy for this it needs to come across you know it needs to, it's i want to um reinforce the point with with this ang like sense of anger but then it undermines your point in a way so like maybe it's not the best like uh, good advice from Keemstar I think it was was it Keemstar who said it I don't even respect Keemstar but um, probably wasn't Keemstar who said this actually he was uh, I, can't, I should know who said it I should be able to click in my brain who said it but um, nobody ever regretted waiting a day and I don't think that's necessarily good advice for everything because of course like you know should I go to the World Cup football match today? Well, I'd wait a day and decide, and then tomorrow the World Cup football match has already taken place and I can't decide now. But, you know, if it's stuff like this, you can leave it a day, and then if you're still really angry, maybe it's okay to do it, but... Um... Not blacken another man's name on the internet like you did Norman. She's angry about Norman as well. I don't know who Norman is. I came along too late, mate. Right, and the thing is... If you want to egg you about these people, isn't it me that, or is there, is there something else Helen's saying about Alan that makes him look worse? But she hasn't done this video about me, has she? So she's actually saying she did mention me, Battery Boy. So now I'm again. folded I into it. Swish, Andy and sent tippies. Oh, go on, I'll treat you. Lol. <laughs> Get yourself up that Super leaderboard. Super chuffer owes ten hugs. Thanks. Get yourself up that leaderboard. Thank you. Ten pounds is like solid, isn't it? Like that, I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Yeah. Um, I'm st I, my mum said to me the other day, like, because I said, like, you know, I said, how's it going? She said, you're putting in the hours. And I'm like, yeah, I am actually, yeah, so thanks. Um, 
I don't know who Norman is and I don't care to find out. The only thing I care to find out is if Helen has been making videos that say Alan is a nonce. Um, you see, I don't really watch Helen's videos. Like, there's only so much of this stuff I can take. And a lot, like, a lot of these people have, like, Helen, quite fairly, has a channel that isn't all armchair detective and it's other stuff and, like, a sunny day out and worst hotel in Blackpool and stuff like that. So if you like Helen, you might just want to watch her lifestyle vlogs. Um, I would only come here for the armchair detective stuff, so I don't come here, like, you know, have, like I said, there's only so much of it I can take. Um, but she's made some armchair detective videos, but... I mean, I don't see anything here like banging on that he's a pedo or anything. It's a bit weird. I see now as well, Alan perceives what I'm doing with battery exhausted. I think because he doesn't understand the internet, he perceives me like that woman ranting about my feelings about Alan, like I'm angry about Alan and I've got my ranty channel. I think that's what he perceives there maybe. I don't think he understands like detracting and YouTube commentary and stuff like that. Um, like we talked about It's a Gundam earlier as being a big YouTuber, the one that made the model, the guy, the guy model that we were talking about earlier. Um, like their channel is full of this sort of stuff. Like um, Hollywood goes on strike and nothing of value was lost. It's a talk about the writer's strike two months ago. Um, the downfall of E3, a channel on YouTube. The cre Disney's creative dark age talking about Disney, but also like there'll be specific people that, um, like he does DSP videos. The day Moist Critical destroyed DSP inadvertently. So there, maybe I'm focused too much on one subject every episode of stream, but um, people make social commentary videos on people on the internet. So I see myself more towards this end of the spectrum than being a, a troll ranter. Um, but of course, I'm a live streamer who follows the topic like it's a, a evolving reality show in a way. So. Um, it's not quite like these old YouTubers that I used to watch in this way, but I mean, if I just put down the rabbit hole, right, this would be an example. Although Fred Signodson doesn't always do people, but down the rabbit hole videos um, often involve people. Look, there's one on Spoonie. Uh, there's one on Dark Side Phil. And Press Teresa is a... Really a Chris Chan one, I think it is. Well, it's not Chris Chan, is it? It's somebody else who's a bit like that. Vaporwave. There's Chris Chan, Sonic and Chris Chan. So, you know, people make these videos about people. But nowadays that we stream daily, DSPs, detractors are daily, aren't they? So I've turned it into a bit of a... Uh, just sort of... To the best my, of my knowledge. My own thoughts about my own content here. But, um, you know, and Alan, Alan, Alan is like the top lol cow on my channel. I'm always doing videos. I, I, I'm forced to react to these constant stream of bullshit in a way, aren't I? But not all, like when we when he goes slow on the bullshit, we've got more of his old stuff that's even more funny and bullshitty to go through as well. There's like a gold mine of content. But like, this is me doing Martin Leaker. Before I was popular, I have you know. I don't think it's that Alan's popular, therefore, like, it was the Nicola Bully case that grew my um, notoriety thus far. <sighs> like, but this got a thousand views nearly. Um, seven months ago before I was, you know, before I was covering Nicola Bullis and all the people were here for that and the Allen stuff. Like, this is me covering Martin. Ah. <laughs> Catch it later, And I'm just going to refill my drink and get a cup of tea. So this is me in the past Nasty talking. Or Jersey, and when I turn off the streams, like, Jersey's not been around to Genshin Impact. I worry. I don't have to worry about you, Capital K. You're always around. I'm, I'm like, oh, there he is. He's okay. I know that Snips is busy quite at the moment in this time of year and I, I can see that she's quite busy but like uh, when people are quiet like Nigel pipes up every now and then every now and then I feel like okay okay he's okay I do I actually worry about people whose names I recognise from chat oh you saw the last one as well good <laughs> something went wrong didn't it I don't know what went wrong I had everything lined up just like now and all of a sudden Martin Leek was really quiet should we listen to him talking again see you later oh that was it that oi was oi it. flat firms welcome to a new week I believe we could fly, or we once had the ability to fly. I'm reading this most mind-blowing book. Uh, Martin Leeker. Um, and it's about this Tibetan guy. It's Buddhist. It was a Tibetan guy, a Buddhist. So Martin believes we can fly because he read it in a book about Tibetan Buddhist guy. Right, what's going on? Martin, this, this today, you believe you can fly. There's our first one. Okay, I can't make it really any bigger. It's a funny way to broadcast this. I'm broadcasting shorts 
in landscape so like if you want me to make it bigger I could make it bigger and his face would be bigger like that but then we don't get to see the whole short we well you don't need to see that bit at the top do you that bit's it's not well framed well the picture might be nicely framed but the fucking video isn't anyway look that's Martin Leaker in his first shorts I can actually crop this bit off as well kind of look we that can go it's a bit nicer isn't it now a bit bit of a nicer picture more me than him more me have more more of me less of him more not so much of him more of me uh yeah it's a nicer picture now let's see what he's next let's see what else he's got to say then let's just go through the fucking all of them why not should we go from the start or from the end so to speak when when do they end they end in the past and they they start in the now so maybe we'll start in the past I mean the past doesn't exist according to mine but this is going way back now to the summer we did see a couple of these but I think we'll go through them all Oi oi flat of British here Martin Liedtke in Cardiff city centre with the globe lighter I like his glasses is that a pair of glasses what's going on with the front of something's happening with his glasses I can see David there and there's Sven and David who is red pilling let's go and have, have a look at David red pilling so it's been fun. We've uh, basically I've red pilled loads of people surreptitiously because can't splatter them too much. No, the sun is small and it's here for you. It's not distant and it's not brightening, and there are no dinosaurs. Okay, so this dude, yeah, like imagine you're walking in the shops. You're out at the shops. You know, you're going for a little wander around. You might go for a cafe, have a little bit of pasta, and then there's a dude out. Oh, what's he doing? With his, he's not wearing any shoes for a start. He's not wearing any shoes. Now, you might have views and opinions about the wearing of shoes. You might, you know, you might have views and opinions about the wearing of shoes. It might be that the wearing of shoes isn't up your street and you think, you know, barefoot's better. But you might notice also that he's walking around on that concrete paving slabs there and you can see there's like chewing gum, bird shit, like maybe some crack needles, broken glass. I don't know. Like there's a lot of things, petrochemicals, plastics. There's a lot of things your, your feet will touch barefoot in a town centre that you may not have walked on in the in the uh, the rainforests that we that we did or did not evolve from according to these people so uh, he might, he's looking a bit hench do you know what he's looking quite hench you know he's looking like he goes to the old gym there doesn't he a uh, bit, bit more strong in the arm than me but uh, I think I've got him on the the edge I think I've got the edge on him in terms of he's not wearing any shoes so like, it's not really a particular if you want me to follow you and think about your opinions I'm not big on you know I'm dress scruffy I might have to start dressing more smartly for these streams because of this thing I'm about to say which is that I actually believe that you know you need to make a bit of an effort for your public perception like you need to think about how people understand you when they see you so I might be a bit scruffy you know I might be wearing my it's cold so I have to have a jacket on inside <laughs> but um he's not got any shoes on so who do you want to who are you going to trust there are no comets or meteors about to wipe you all out that is complete poppycock yeah there are no comets or meteors about to wipe us all out so i do agree with that see i was doing these weird people wasn't i i've been doing these weird people it'd be the equivalent of me doing this and then Martin doing a video saying this fucking Scott's been talking about me and Scott's a fucking this and that and then me doing a video covering Martin talking about me it'd be the equivalent of that I suppose yeah Curtis has changed his name yeah to something like JDE Media or something DJ Media or whatever you said in chat changed his brand his brand is Curtis's brand is whatever I'm doing the police are coming to get me off it and send me off send me off <laughs> My brand is, it used to be, I'm a bit, look, that's the upstairs attic room. And I tidied it up and made it smart for my second streaming room so I could go up there and quietly stream in the evenings. It's still set up. It'll come into play more in the winter, I think. Or any time I can't be on this rig. I've, I've really taken over in this room now, but it's also my away day rig. I can box up the laptop and go somewhere else and stream from somewhere else. Anyway. I've been doing these people on the internet. I used to look a bit smart. <laughs> Actually, if you look, feel like I look more scruffy now. Um, yeah, so. What are you saying there? Oh, yeah. I, I don't watch the videos. 
branding that's what i was talking about branding you know public perception and branding and that's what i was talking about in this video back then i've never been one to be like oh let's create brand scott like a nike swoosh but with scott written on it it'd be brilliant like i need t-shirts with my face on but i am aware that inadvertently you are whatever you are and you are that you fit into some sort of like if you were marketing people you would put me in a box somewhere and you'd be like oh you're this kind of this person and this kind of brand you know you're suitable for selling you're vegan suitable so it's, it's vegan hipster let's get the chocolate milk on his sponsor you know they do something like that i don't know but um martin's brand is he's fucking nuts and he thinks the earth is flat <laughs>